so rumor has it. <laughs> so if I can look at this and see that this is a negative 4x and this is a positive 4x, that means I can eliminate these two. Because remember what we're going to do is we're going to take and draw a line under this and treat the like terms like addition problems. We have a negative 2y and a positive 8y, so what's that going to leave us with? Mm -hmm. 6y. And then on the right side of the equation, we have negative 12 and negative 24. It's going to give us negative 36. So 6y is equal to negative 36. What can we do next? Divide by 6. Y is going to then be equal to negative 6. Uh, why does elimination work? Why does elimination work? Because what we're doing here is we're saying we're going to get rid of one of the terms and solve for the other. When we eliminate the x term, that lets us solve for y. When we're doing substitution, we're doing the same thing but in a different way. We're taking one of the um, variables and getting rid of it and solving for the other one, and then we go back and do the opposite. So now that we have the y term, we can take either one of these two equations and plug in the negative 6 for y and solve. I'm going to use the second equation because I prefer working with positives. Which is a silly thing to say because both of these have negatives and positives. I just like that it started off with positive 4x instead of negative 4x. It doesn't matter. You can find your x with either one. We're going to get 4x plus 8 times negative 6 because I took the y equals negative 6 and I plugged it into the y is equal to negative 24. I get 4x is equal to negative 48. x equals 6. So we get 6 comma negative 6 is our answer. 